Hello, my name is George Castro, and this is instructional videos for track leads who want to schedule sessions for UDS. Okay, so we, we'll start here at the UDS page uh, on the wikis, wiki.ubuntu.com slash UDS, all capital letters. It'll uh, take you to the end page. And by now, you should have blueprints queued up, um, ready to be accepted. So what happens is, as people want things discussed in your track, they will write blueprints and then submit them to you. So these are the blueprints for the M release for this UDS. As you can see, um, people have been uh, submitted these. Now you'll get an email as the approver of these uh, specs. And what happens is when you want to approve a spec, either you've talked to the engineer or whatever your workflow is, you're just going to set them to approved. So in this example, let's say uh, we're going to go here, you would go through all the specs that are in your queue and set them in, to approved. Once they're approved, they're ready to be scheduled. So you go to summit.ubuntu.com and then pick the M summit and just tax a UDS-M. Now this is the page that you want to bookmark here. So in this example, we're going to schedule for Monday. So you're going to click on Monday. And then what happens is, is all the tracks that you've approved show up here on the right. And then you're basically just going to schedule them. So we have the rooms listed here atop the cross of UDS, and then the number next to them is the amount of people that that room holds. So Amarante holds 20, Delfino holds 18, etc. So based on your subject and what you think might be popular, you can uh, drop the session in the room. So really all you need to do is grab the session and plop it in a room. Voila, it's scheduled. Now, uh, some gotchas here. In UDS, we want to make sure that people aren't camping out in rooms. So the summit sy system actually won't let you schedule things back to back. It'll give you an error. So you'll need to make sure that vertically you don't have things in the same color. The summit system usually won't let you do that. Also, based on the amount of people that are listed as essential, you might not be able to schedule. So for example here, Grant likely has a little star by his name. That means that he's essential to be that session. Someone or himself marked himself that he has to be at that session. So if there's any other sessions on the sidebar where he's marked as essential, it won't let you um, schedule it in the same slot. So most people know uh, to mark themselves as essential. Um, so you just need to be cognizant of that. If you have a person that signs up for all their sessions as essential, it will be impossible to schedule them. And usually, uh, based on your track, you try to do no more than two uh, sessions in a track uh, per hour slot. So in this case, we have translations and development workflow review. So on our team, these are two separate groups of people. So it's, kind of, it's, a, it, it's not a bad thing to split that. However, on the desktop team, it wouldn't make sense to have you know, default desktop applications and you know, default multimedia selection or whatever in the same hour slot because that would uh, have a lot of overlapping people. So other than that, that's really all there is to it. Um, plenaries are handled by me, so you don't have to worry about that. You can just ping me directly. Um, if you have any questions, you can always get a hold of me. My email is j-o-r-g-e at ubuntu.com. Thanks.